walkabout as guide to Australia, or whatever we end up calling this thing. So yes, here we are at the top of St. Augustine Lighthouse. Some people say Saint, some people say Saint. St. Augustine's sounds much better. A little trivia for you, I would say St. Augustine. St. Augustine. But yeah, in the shadow of the lighthouse. Beautiful. Well worth the 1,012 step climb and the cardiac arrest. The story had begun, not at this lighthouse, but at the White House, in 1841. And teen heartthrob President Harrison's assassination from high and iron cornflakes, causing deadly radiation. Unfortunately for the front lawn teen choir, Harrison's vice president was 108 year old Johnny Tyler. After inauguration by rotten tomatoes to the groin and throat, the 10th president knew he had to win back the youth vote. Grabbing his predecessor's guitar, Tyler jumped down to Florida for spring break, and whilst there admitted it as the 27th state. But catapulting beach balls, the Seminole Indian Wars, and the music of the doors all wore the president down to his core. Escaping the heat, he found needed retreat in the ice-cool drip-drip of a Spanish fountain. Autographed by Ponce de Leon in 1513. Climbing out, his reflection left him with no doubt that the fountain drought had changed him into being about the age of a boy scout. Golden hair had sprout, wrinkles were ironed out, and his oversized suit did not make him pout. His aides, on the other hand, were afraid at the prospect of a babe leading their election campaign. Old Johnny Tyler was too young for sure. So almost a century before John F. Kennedy was born, Tyler commissioned the US Space Expedition and there, in St. Augustine, Florida, a rocket was positioned to fly the president to Mercury, where he would have the luxury of aging fastly, then return to Earth, retaining his presidential salary. However, on the eve of the rocket's launch into space, while strumming on his base, President Johnny Tyler accidentally invented rock and roll, and with his teen fan base, left Mission Control, and recorded the hit song Okie Boogie. Don't believe me? Look it up. Listen here, friends, I want to tell you about a brand new dance that you got to learn to do. It's called the Oka Boogie. That mean a Oka Boogie, it'll nearly drive you wild. The fountain of youth was drained and bottled by one of Johnny Tyler's aides. He exported it from the Florida Everglades under the name of Coca-Cola Trade, Mark. And that's why no one over 30 drinks coca-cola because if they did they wouldn't be over 30 anymore now here's the secret ingredients to the fountain of youth slash coca-cola that they don't want you to know about the rocket lay dormant before it underwent a light modification to become a lighthouse station Speaking of scams, subscribe.